Okay, now we're gonna go into the backhand ground stroke. Now if you have, if you wanna learn a two-handed backhand, then it's essentially a left-handed, underhanded toss. This, this motion here that I'm doing, that's the same motion I would have if I had a two-handed backhand. Now what I'm doing is I'm just holding on to my wrist with my right hand and I'm throwing the ball up above the net with my second hand. That's the same motion that you would use if you had a two-handed backhand. That left-handed, underhanded throw, same thing. So if you can toss, if, if you want to learn how to hit a two-handed backhand in tennis, you, you're going to need to develop your left-handed skills. Now I don't. I learned how to play tennis before two-handed backhands were uh, the rage. I learned how to play tennis when tennis balls were still white and people played with wooden rackets. So I'm kind of go back a ways. I'm going to show you the one-handed backhand grip. When you go, this was your forehand grip. You had your thumb on the top. Now when you go to the backhand grip, with your left hand, you turn the racket until your index knuckle gets on the top of the racket. Now notice my thumb is directly, is behind the racket. It was here for the forehand, more on top. Now it's here behind, okay? So there's the grip, there's the grip. Now, if you've ever played Frisbee, a Frisbee throw, where you take a Frisbee and go like that, it's a very similar motion to a one-handed backhand. Okay, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that, that right now. Here we go. So you set up and you pull. Now, at first, just catch the return in your left hand. Hit it, catch it. Hit it, catch it. And this is also really good for you because it, te it teaches you your spatial alignment with this shot. You have to learn how to get used to balls being on your left side as well as balls on your right side. And notice I have, I have the backhand grip and I'm pulling the racket up above my hand just like I was doing when I did the toss. It's the same motion. I don't have near the leverage <laughs> without the racket. When you get the racket on there, there's a lot more leverage and it's a lot easier to make it go. Now where do you have, make contact? You don't want the ball to get behind your front foot. So your initial contact point is here or farther in front so that your arm can extend and go forward. If the ball gets behind that foot and you're back in here, you can still make the shot, but it's a much more difficult shot. If you can keep it in front, notice my initial contact is in front. I'm gonna let it bounce twice and start swinging. Now that I'm back in the back of the court, I don't really want it to go low over the net. I want it to clear the net and go back into the back court. I don't know if you can see the frisbee toss similarity here. Another, another little trick is to pretend you're doing those exercise bands where you go from here to here and extend your arms. Finish your backhand. That is the look that you really want because that shows that you took a full extended stroke at the ball.